I'm Mike Golick here with legendary Baylor coach and now powerful intercollegiate administrator, Coach Taft. Coach, really appreciate you uh, coming out here today and just wanted to really get your thoughts on a few issues. Obviously, the landscape in college football now a, a little different than it was back then. Um, what are your thoughts on you know, the current recruiting practices that you're seeing in college football today? Well, I spend uh, probably an average of 10 hours a week uh, involved in that particular issue, among many others. But uh, I'm on the uh, working committee of the NCAA that was formed a year and a half ago. Three years ago, our association, the American Football Coach Association, went to the NCAA, sat down with them, uh, particularly the enforcement group, and uh, we wanted them to strengthen the penalties for violations uh, in all areas, beginning with assistant coaches that are proven to have violated NCAA rules, that they should be suspended for no more than two games, uh, but they should be suspended when they are found guilty. We've been doing that. Now under the working group, there's a lot of other things that we're looking at. Uh, the responsibility of a head coach or an assistant that uh, does something illegal or breaks the rules. So there's a lot of things going on and uh, I am and our association, our board of trustees are adamant that we not only strengthen the rules, strengthen the enforcement, the penalties, and then from our standpoint as the coaches, uh, to make sure we're doing things the way that they should be done. And now you mentioned the coach is obviously a huge part of everything you're talking about with the, crew to, with the recruiting and with these new rules. Uh, talk about what you feel like the coach's role is now, not, not just with football, but also as it extends beyond football with the young people they're coming in contact with. Well, I've coached for 37 years. and I've been running the association for a long, long time, and that's never changed. And uh, the responsibility of anyone that has the, the opportunity to deal with children either in a public or private area uh, have to be uh, extremely committed. They have to study, they have to know what their curriculum or their game or their sport might be. They have to teach it emphatically and then they have to set a pattern and then teach beyond the game, what's more than the game. Uh, how to live life and live it successfully and uh, it's a huge responsibility. That's never really changed. What has changed is the environment in coaching. We now have multimillionaires that are coaching on the collegiate level, and that, of course, never happened until recent years. So one of the things that I try to guard against with our uh, incoming uh, young people that want to coach is I say to them flat clear, if you're coming into coaching to be a millionaire coach, go get you another job somewhere else. First of all, the odds of you getting there are very, very slim. And secondly, uh, you're going to have to go through years of not making very much money, endless hours of work to do what you want to do and to be successful just doing that. And uh, it's not what you should be basing your rationale for coming into coaching. Your rationale, in all truth, should be on what kind of impact, what kind of influence can I make through the game that I'm coaching, in my case, football. Obviously, you said 30 years of experience as a coach. 37. 30, 37, my, my mistake, absolutely my wife, not. My wife will agree, don't cut out seven. <laughs> Those were the bad years. <laughs> Well, 37 years of coaching experience, and obviously you've tailored that into uh, what you've done post-coaching and written a few books along the way, five books, I believe, now, and you've just come out with a new one. Could you maybe give us a few of the important points from your newest book? Yeah, it's called uh, Coach's Influence Beyond the Game, and uh, it deals with, first of all, the society in which we lived. I spoke a little bit about it uh, in this meeting. Uh, the society in America has changed. Uh, the root... Uh, uh, problem and the initial problem is we're not getting values taught in the home and one of the reasons there are 21 to 25 million children in America that do not have a father that could teach those values if they were willing to. That has a huge effect because then who becomes a teacher, who becomes the individual that has an effect and that is the peer pressure and depends on what peers you're talking about. Uh, what kind of behavior a child will come up with, what kind of attitude so this is a proven uh, factor, it's a, a proven reality. And what we've also discovered is that there are very few colleges and, and uh, universities 
that teach teachers or coaches how to deal with the real issues of life, and that is those uh, social issues that they face. So this book is a methodology for giving them preparation how to deal with the 32 social issues that uh, we've discovered, but more than that, how to teach them to be successful in their own right. I gave uh, today, that was a chapter out of uh, the book uh, called The Key to Success, and it's about mind control. And uh, you teach that to a child, then everything else will fall into place. Awesome. Well, Coach, we really appreciate your time, and we thank you for coming out here. And live from the Play Like a Champion Today conference here at Notre Dame, I'm Mike Golick with Coach Taft.